Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. I hope you all are having a truly fantastic day. Today, fanboys, you know what time it is. When I say you know what time it is, that, that means get ready for this medicine. That means get ready to not like this video. Uh, this is just something I was just kind of thinking about. You see the title of the video. LeBron James' 21 years is less than Michael Jordan's 13 years. And I know a lot of people are thinking, well, you know, Michael Jordan played 15 years. But when I say Michael Jordan's 13 years, that means by the end of Jordan's career in Chicago, he was completely cemented as the GOAT. And so, I want you all to think about this. Fanboys, re really think about this. In 13 years, Michael Jordan made such an impression on people, accomplished so much in his career, that, <laughs> that 26 years later, after he left Chicago, after he played his last game in Chicago, he is still viewed as the GOAT. Let me say that one more time for you guys. Michael Jordan made such an impression on people and accomplished so much in his 13-year career in Chicago. And again, I'm saying I'm talking about his Chicago career because that is what cemented him as the GOAT. Now, you can say whatever you want about his Wizards years. And yes, his Wizards, here's the crazy thing. is His Wizards years actually brought his numbers down a little bit. But you can say whatever you want about his Wizards years. And, you know, a lot of Michael Jordan's fans wish he never played the Wizards years. And you can say whatever you want about that. But regardless of his Wizards years, his Chicago career is what cemented him as the GOAT. And in that 13-year span, he made such an impression and accomplished so much that 26 years later, people still view him as the GOAT overwhelmingly. Players and fans, that should be a sobering and depressing thought for you fanboys. <laughs> That should be a sobering and depressing thought for you fanboys. But again, like I said, I'm here to help you reach rock bottom so that you can start. You know, a lot of people can't make changes until they hit the very bottom. So this is what we're trying to do to you on this channel. Uh, in 13 years, we all know MJ got six championships, uh, six and no in the finals, six finals MVPs. Never allowing a game seven, 10 scoring titles, nine time all defensive, uh, has the highest PER ever, eight year stretch of never losing more than two games in a row, defensive player in the year and scoring title in the same year, uh, a few seasons with 100 blocks and 200 steals. I mean, we can just keep going on and running off the list. But all this happened within 13 years. Now, if you take in consideration that Michael Jordan was injured most of his second year, if you take in consideration uh, his retirements, he, he really did this in 11 seasons. He really did all this in 11 seasons. Now, the what was it, 1985 season when he when he injured his foot and what was it the, I think it was like the third game into the season, right? You know, anybody else I'm sure I, we know for a fact the deer would have taken that whole season off. Sometimes Jordan's uh refusal to sit out hurts himself in in certain ways. And I say it it only hurts him in this sense. Had he uh, set out that season, then we would be saying he did all this in 12 seasons in Chicago, right? In 12 seasons in Chicago. We, this is what we would be saying. However, this is something that you fanboys don't understand. Had he actually set out the entire season like your dear would have, 
He wouldn't have got that 63-point game in Boston. Michael Jordan loved the game of basketball. He did right by the game of basketball, and he did right by the fans. I think this is another important component. You know, when we talk about Jordan's greatness um, and his skills on the basketball court, his uh, killer mentality and all the things that go into it, you know, the one thing that doesn't get talked about enough is that Jordan respected the fans. Jordan did right by the fans. And before some of you fanboys bring it up, we know there's instances of Jordan uh, being not so nice to fans. The one that comes up immediately is I can think of with the rapper Chameleonaire and that whole exchange. And, and to be honest, th this is what I have to say to that. Like, Nobody's perfect 100% of the time. And, you know, I think it, it sucks that Michael Jordan had that kind of interaction with somebody. But I also think, you know, who knows? Maybe he just caught Jordan at the wrong moment. And, you know, <laughs> and it, it happened. But in general, Jordan has done right by the fans of the NBA by going out there and giving it his all every single night. 13 seasons in Chicago created a legacy that 26 years later, people have been trying to erase. People have been trying to replace. And LeBron James, your king, in 21 years, has not made a GOAT case worthy of the majority of people accepting. Again, I'm sure most people that watch this channel don't have them in the top five. Probably top 10. Like I said, he's at the bottom of my top 10, but that's just until I get a chance to sit down and rework that top 10. But that's just something to think about, fanboys. Uh, it's not going to be a long video, but I just thought, like I said, to me when I was thinking about it, I was like, man, this, this guy, that's amazing that this guy created such a legacy in such a short amount of time that 26 years later is, is still an iron clad legacy no one has been able to replace it not not even with the false narratives not even with the media truly doing everything in their power to put lebron ahead of this guy i mean when you think about it it, it really is truly amazing i mean the media has lowered the standard for lebron the media has given LeBron every excuse. The media has given LeBron so many excuses that now he has a whole empire, you know, <laughs> members of the CFL who believe all these excuses and go around ex reciting these excuses to everybody. Uh, the NBA has let LeBron choose what teams he wanted to go to. The NBA lets LeBron <laughs> carry and travel. <laughs> The NBA lets LeBron flop, even though it's supposedly some flopping rule in place now. It, I haven't seen it really exercise much. So, yeah, again, to, to me, that's just amazing that with everything that has been tried to replace the legacy of Michael Jordan, to crown a new GOAT, that in 13 years, Michael Jordan did so much that 26 years later, it is still unbeatable. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, do you think that is, it is amazing that within such a short time, Michael Jordan was able to create such a strong legacy and resume that it couldn't even be replaced when powers as big as the NBA or mainstream media could not formulate or fabricate a legacy for LeBron James <laughs> that people would still buy into and, and put him over Jordan. It, it, it's amazing. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. You all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. All right.